took care of the ball and went after it and held it in great regard. Uh, we had a lot of success in those games. And the ones that we didn't, we struggled in. And that was a significant factor. So uh, this turnover Thursday, uh, the importance, the emphasis of it is right on point. That's one of the messages we're just clearly trying to get through with the guys. You know, it is about the ball. And uh, the work that today is going to be an important factor this weekend, too. Uh, Health-wise, we're in good shape. The only person that, guy that won't participate today will be uh, Tevin Coleman. Uh, everybody's doing the concussion protocol. Everybody else will be participating in some fashion today as we get ready for the game. Uh, yeah, Coach, the uh, Saints game, uh, uh, you know, last time the turnovers were a big issue, and yep. uh, that's why you, you know, you emphasized throughout the season, but a little bit extra here this week. Or? And uh, it was the factor in that game for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, where, uh, at times when we're able to move the ball and do things, uh, those are the things when we don't finish drives with points at the end, and uh, that's the factor. I think you know we're one of the only clubs in the NFL that has a minus turnover ratio, but still you know, has a winning record. That's hard to do because you know it is about the ball. That's a hard lesson to go through because of the importance of the football. So uh, we've done better at that as a play in terms of taking care of the ball the last couple of weeks and going after it, and uh, it is for sure going to be the case this weekend. And how do you fix the shotgun snaps or the snaps that have gone awry uh, this season? Well, we put right back up for the competition at the center position for sure, and uh, that's number one. And number two, um, as we're going through it, just the consistency and the technique that's going to be on point every single time, you know, in terms of, like, you know, is your you know, forearm hitting the center, you know, in your leg in the same spot, the consistency with it. But uh, I'm sure the competition's up that position again, too. Discuss the development of a young defensive line, particularly Beasley and Hageman, and what you like to see him work on as you get towards the end of this regular season and towards the off season. Really, yeah, I'll just focus on the on what they have to do this week to play really good ball, and then you know as we get into the postseason, it'll be a great topic for next week. Uh, in this game, we've got to affect this quarterback, and uh, I think uh, Breeze does one of the best jobs in the league of moving around in the pocket. So for the defensive ends, man, when you're getting off the spot, it starts with the get off, but can they work the tackle and get this guy off the spot? Uh, the thing I've been pleased about with Hagman as of late is his push inside. Uh, the power that he has when he gets his pads underneath people, you know, he can be hard to deal with. He's batted some passes down. We saw that, I believe, in the last couple ball games. So for him, not only is it the strength, but he has this length. Let's get in this, you know, quarterback's face and make sure the hand's up there when the ball comes, you know, when his hand comes off the ball and see if we can bat a couple passes. So Hagman, inside push. And with Beasley, it's the outside stuff where the counters to come back under or beat them outside to get the quarterback off the spot. It's going to start to get off for him, and that's what's uh, so great about playing at home, you know, with the crowd and everybody rocking. Uh, we'll need every bit of it. Coach, Coach how Charles? much? Okay, oh, Coach, how much is it going to bother you personally if you guys do finish last in the league in sacks? Because you know that's your area. You you've worked so hard with these pass rushers and stuff, and I know you've gotten some pressure here and there and stuff like that. But how much would that bother you? I don't think it may take a lot of time thinking about it, but uh, any time we're not affecting the quarterback like I like, yeah, for sure it bothers me significantly. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't necessarily put all of pass rush just on sacks. I'm probably different that ways. Knockdowns and off the spots and batted passes and completion percentage. So uh, it's a factor of it, but it's not my number one factor. Mm -hmm. And going back to some of good teams, but not always at the top of the list from sack numbers. Right. And um, one other thing, going back to what you just said about your competition, yep. does that mean that you know give somebody else a look at center? This, yeah, this it comes up for sure for this week, and then we'll who, make a determination who, who, at the end of the week. Okay, Stone and uh, Gretkowski. Gretkowski. Yep, okay. in person, yeah. Okay. We'll go battle for it inside, and then we'll take it all the way through today and tomorrow, and then we'll lead it up into the game. But yeah, that's certainly the case. We're going to stay true to the competition, man, all the way through. Did you think about giving Gino a chance earlier this year? We have, yep. Just didn't. Well, just we went right back to it in the week of practice and the mindset. And there's a lot of good things that Mike did too, mm -hmm. you know, that override some of the you know the ones in the game with the penalties and snaps. But uh, yeah, full full on effect, man, at the position for sure. Uh, yeah, coach. Yesterday, Roddy said, you know, we were asking about his you know career and uh, so forth. He wants to continue playing, uh, uh, you know, after you know it's his lowest uh, total in a few years, so you know, it's 34 to. Uh, you know, any thoughts on Roddy and what he's been able to give you this year and uh, if you want to address it uh, moving forward with him. The biggest thing I think that I've felt from him over the last couple of weeks, man, is the leadership has been so strong and uh, in terms of the attitude of setting forth, you know, and supporting one another. Um, I'm sure it's always been everybody's maybe I recognize it more over the last couple of weeks when we were in a tough spot where he was, you know, a significant factor of the mindset, the toughness, and the attitude to go. So um, that's really where my focus is on.
He kind of does he kind of uh, you know personifies the toughness and the grit well, you uh, no you doubt. About. And uh, I think it's the you know even the catches that he makes you know like when people are trying to go after the ball nope not in here and just the physicality that he plays with um, the competitor there's you know a lot of adjectives that are really cool you know attributes of a guy and I would throw his way. Coach, who do you think has the best hair on the team? Best hair. Certainly, I'm not a candidate, so I'll take myself out. <laughs> but then I would have to go with Philip Wheeler. I think he's got a pretty strong game. 